So this time we're going to do it without using the shopping bag analogy. So this time we're trying to do it in our head. We're going to still write down our numbers of atoms that we have, but we're going to do it in a slightly different way. So we're not going to use fruit or shopping bags. So this is our equation here. We've got titanium chloride reacting with water to produce titanium dioxide and hydrochloric acid. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down how many of each of the um, elements I have. Okay. So on this side I've got one titanium. There's no number after it, so I've got one. Uh, I've got four chlorines on this side, so I'm going to write down four. I've got two hydrogens, so a little two there means I have two of that in front. So two hydrogens, and I've got one oxygen over here. So I'm going to write down one oxygen. On the other side, I've got one titanium, so I'll write that down. I've got two oxygens, so I'll put that down the bottom. I've got one hydrogen, and I've got one chlorine. All right. So immediately I can see I've got some problems. So my numbers of chlorine, hydrogen, and oxygen are all off. First thing we're going to ask ourselves is what is the limiting factor? And I'm going to look at the hydrochloric acid over here. I've got one hydrochloric acid, and on this side I've got four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that one to four. Okay, so go to the next page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a four out the front here because that's the first, that's the thing that I think is the most limiting factor at the moment. So if I do my count up again. On this side I've got one, I've got four, I've got two, and I've got one. Now if we go on this side, I've still got one titanium, still got two oxygens on this side, so that's not right, but now I've got a big number four out the front, so I've changed my number of shopping bags over here. So now I've got four hydrogens, so i put that down here, and I've got four chlorines, because the big number out the front means you have that of everything that's following it. So now I've got four chlorines. Now we're starting to look a bit better. Now we need to look at what we're going to do with the other side. If we look on the other side over here, we can see that we don't have enough hydrogens, we don't have enough oxygens. So what I can do is I can change that number. So if we go to the next page, so what I did is I put four there. Now I'm going to double this one. So now let's do a count up. Because that way I think I'll get the right number of hydrogens and oxygens on both sides. So on this side I've got one titanium, I've got four chlorines, now, if I look at my number of hydrogens, I've got two times two, so now I've got four in total hydrogens, and I've got two oxygens. If I go to the other side of the arrow, I've got one titanium here, I've got two oxygens there, I've got four hydrogens here, and I've got four chlorines here. And now we're balanced. So, to finish that one off, one titanium chloride molecule reacts with two water molecules to produce one titanium dioxide molecule and four hydrochloric acid molecules. So now we're balanced because we've got the same number of each atom on both sides. So there's an example. This is Flipping Science for today. See you later.